Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello. Hi, Paul. I'm Jason. Together we are those, those vegan, vegan guys. Uh, we're on our way to Wing Yip. The first time in 2022. Funnily enough. Yes. And we're in March already, so that kind of shows you how often we go. Um, and for all of those people new to the channel, I'm going to tell you just a little bit of a backstory. Uh, so we used to buy, um, there was a Chinese takeaway in Oldham and they did, um, they did, we were vegetarian at the time, weren't we? We were. Uh, and they did, um, you know, loads of vegetarian things. It was, it was vegan really. Um, and we had a friend of ours round Lee one night. We all did this takeaway. It was about 25 quid for the three of us. And uh, Lee said, um, you do know you can get all these bits from Wingit, don't you? And I was like, no. No, I didn't know that, Lee. <laughs> and he said, yeah, you should go. It's, uh, and I was, I asked at the time what many people have asked us since, can you just go in? Is it not like a membership thing? No, it's just a supermarket. Now, Wingip have got branches in Manchester, Birmingham and London. So, because uh, it is, it's like a, it's like a cash and carry. It's like a superstore, isn't it? It's a supermarket. Yeah. It's a, that's, it, as it says outside, it says Oriental Supermarket. That's what it says. Anyway, we went and I was like, oh, here's them dumplings we get from the takeaway, Jason. Here's, them, here's the satay sticks we get from the takeaway, Jason. Anyway, we bought everything that we would normally buy from the takeaway. Um, and it cost us... I brought the price down at one point, and basically, um, we would buy... We buy the packets of the things we used to buy from the takeaway, make the exact same meal as we used to get, and it costs us about a fiver to put that meal on the plate, yeah. rather than 25 quid. Massive difference. Huge difference. So we go to Wingy once every couple to few months. We stock up on the things that we have regularly. We have our Chinese fake away, as we call it. About once a fortnight, once every three weeks. It's a real treat meal. It's all processed food. It's all vegan junk food. And it's beautiful. It is. It is. But as many of you who have seen our meals vlogs uh, will know, um, tofu is a staple um, of what we eat now. Um, and Paul, you said it earlier, didn't you? It was like, if we don't have it for a while, we actually crave it. We do a crave it. Like, oh, now, add it. I know you can pick it up in the supermarkets, but you can pick it up for a steal at Wing Yip and other Chinese supermarkets. Now, what I always say to people as well is because Wing Yip is only Manchester, Birmingham and London, if you live in Crawford, pull a name out of the hat, Win Stanley, then you go to Google and you type in Crawford Chinese supermarket, Win Stanley Chinese supermarket, and you should be able to find some little wholesale shops um, in your area or near to your area that you can visit too. Uh, but for those of you lucky enough to live near enough to Manchester, Birmingham or London and be able to go to a, a wing yip, we're going to show you today the kind of things that you can get in there. We're going to show you the things that we get every time we go and we're going to show you the absolute steal on tofu. Yeah. Why are we going to show you all that? Because it'd be rude not to. It would. And it would be rude to not show you the plethora of tofu that you can get at Wing Yip. And probably other places as well. Indeed. Uh, so, uh, onward. And we'll see you down there.
we're here. But should we have come? Absolutely. <laughs> Morning, Wilfred. We're in, and thus we begin. We've gone back to wearing masks in supermarkets, by the way. I know our uh, government says you don't have to now, but um, as far as Johnson is stupid. We're kind of doing it on gut instinct a lot of the time, aren't we? Yeah. Kind of like, does it feel like we should? Well, we did yesterday in Tesco as well, didn't we? Right, here we, oh, is that, um, oh, that's not gotujang, is it? It's uh, red pepper paste. Oh, well, it, well, it is kind of gotujang then, but it's just not called gotujang. Um, you can, just for the record, by the way, in these, uh, in these big wing yips, you can get lots of beautiful bits, you know, rice balls and sets and, just, honestly just absolutely beautiful bits rice cookers absolute plethora of uh, chopsticks and stuff so there's all that but we're here for the food are we not onward so there is a <clears throat> a huge plethora of noodles in fact this entire wall that I'm showing you here is pretty much all noodles uh, they've got stuff like rice paper if you want to make um, summer rolls uh, or indeed rice paper bacon which is um, quite popular google that if you've never heard of it um, but yeah there's a there's a huge plethora of noodles of course you've got to check the ingredients on everything um, because some of the things in here that are indeed vegan by ingredient aren't even marked vegetarian yeah you've got to put a little bit of time in haven't you? you do for example Many of these noodles, the indoor me, uh, are actually uh, marked on the website as suitable for vegetarians, but by ingredient, vegan. However, if you're looking for a noodle that you want to make sure is absolutely definitely vegan, we're going to be picking a few of these up today. These here, soon veggie cup. Uh, how much are they, Jason? The uh, the price doesn't look like it's there, but I seem to recall they're about 90 pence. Yeah. About pound. Um, so this one is clearly marked vegan, as you can see there. And I have to say, they are utterly delicious, aren't they, Jay? Some of the best. Yeah. So what do we want? Four of these? I would say at least four. Or yeah. six. 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 Because when we've got them in, we do go through them. Uh, and we also... Here we go. We've run out of these. We did these. Sorry. We did these as a challenge on YouTube with Stuart Oof. two years ago. Even more. And completely fell in love with them. Uh, they are vegan by ingredient. Took a lot of research, but they are. And uh, they're utterly delicious if you like spice. You've got to be a spice lover yeah. uh, to like these. But um, we shall be getting some of them as well. Uh, so, yeah, you know, check out your noodles. But there's there's lots of variety here. Uh, right, should we go into the chilled bit? Uh -huh. uh, right. Now, if any of you have got a baby and you like tofu, you can kill two birds with one stone here. I know that's a terrible saying. You can entice two birds with one seed. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you can buy a baby bath of tofu for £12 and use that as a baby bath <laughs> afterwards. £12 for 5.5 kilograms of tofu. However, we go for... Um, Oh, they've changed, they've changed, Jason. Golden. Yeah, last time. Okay, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Did they not do Tofu King anymore? But look at this. £1.40 for, I think that should be 600 grams. Yes. Uh, so you've got firm and medium. Soft. Um, here's the uh, fried tofu cubes. 
for popping into we'll get some of them too. 149. Well, should we get them or should we get this? How much is in that gram wise? Uh, that's 150 grams. So that's 230 grams. Yeah, I mean we'll get through it, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. I'll just do some noodle dishes. And these little snacky things as well. Um are very often vegan by ingredient. I'm trying to just scan the ingredients there quickly. I think Jay's got his card that, that we always carry. The only one uh, we'll sure just show it. that, Jason. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that. Yeah. So you can get a close up of that and uh, maybe take a screenshot. There we go. Yeah, it's 262 and 511, 621. This is what we're saying, you have got to kind of take your time. If you're, yeah. if you're a little bit cautious around your E-numbers. Yeah, definitely. But uh, it's, that's mainly soya. And they're just little savoury kind of chewy snacks for 65p. So, yeah. Uh, right, let's get some tofu. What is it you want? Uh, I want... Uh, well, they don't say whether they're soft or... Yeah, it says that says soft. Soft, that says hard. All oh, right, that's what we want. Two of them. Two of these. £1.40 each. Uh, in fact, that'll do for now. Fabulous. Right, onward. Oh, i show you the plethora of veg as well. Things like this. Um, it's like if you eat a lot of bok choy. £3.69 for that much huge huge amount we don't eat enough to warrant getting any um you're not mad keen on it are you Jay? not mad keen no you can get all your uh, all your veg here should you fancy right onward we've just spotted these uh brand new uh to us anyway 65p a pack a little tiny pack of yakisoba noodles wheat noodles for Japanese uh, style stir fry and um, they are suitable for vegans says so right there 65p also if you're looking for any kind of specific ingredients um, you know like fresh peppercorns or galangal or turmeric or uh, fresh yam bean or lemongrass you get all those kinds of things here just um, keep your eyes over in this section because the meat's over there so we don't want to look at that uh, and a whole plethora of fresh vegetables and other kinds of uh, fruits just a, a huge huge amount marvellous if you're ever looking for shelf staple uh, tofu and um, they've got these ones in as well which is the silken tofu so this soft one here is often used to make like mayonnaise and sometimes creamy sauces stuff like that and the firm one it says firm but it's it is silken tofu so it's not as firm however that particular one makes the absolute perfect um, soft tofu scramble we prefer a firm tofu scramble but we have made it with this as well and it's absolutely lovely yeah lovely lots of sauces and oils and i'll show you the ones we get although we're not getting them today because i've still got half a bottle <laughs> of everything um now yeah it's the same thing isn't it it's yeah. basically this is this is the gochujang. Um, sometimes it says it on the uh, on the box, but uh, but not well. It might say it, but not in a language I can read, unfortunately. Um, there's so many things though in there. Oh, these are them snack packs of seaweed that I've been talking about. Now you can get them in normal you know your standard British supermarket uh, but they're here 
So here there, there's three in a pack. I use these, they're one pound 25. Raw seaweed. Yeah. Uh, these are what I use to make my, um, uh, to my tuna. I was trying to think of the right word then. <laughs> yeah. My tuna with chickpeas, I crumble a few of these sheets into it. Uh, and they last ages, so, you know, really good. Marvellous. So these are the two soy sauces we get. The Pearl River Bridge. We get the Superior Light Soy Sauce, 175. Um, 500 millilitres. And we get this one, which is the... Uh, it says it's mushroom flavoured. Honestly, it's not. You can't taste mushrooms in it. We use it all the time and Jason would know because he can't stand mushrooms. Uh, that's 195 and uh, again, it's it's so rich. It's a beautiful, beautiful soy sauce. Um, so, try it out. So, quite a lot of these sauces are vegan by ingredient, uh, it, but again, you have to look. For example, the mushroom sauce here does have a V on it, did you say there were no E numbers, Jason? There's no E numbers. No E numbers. And we've checked the ingredients and that's vegan. A lot of these ones that say vegetarian sauce, like there's two mushroom sauces there. There's a vegetarian oyster flavor sauce. So that can't have any fish in it because it says vegetarian. Of course. It's just oyster flavored. There's a lot of um, really, really good uh, sauces here. Uh, so yeah, just you know worth having a really good look. They also have This incredible little section. Oh, and by the way Shriacha chili sauce is coming out your ears. You know what I mean? <laughs> I bet there's some really fiery stuff here, Jay That's just crushed chilies in it in oil. Yeah. Oh god, that'd be brutal chili chili oil 1265. A lot of people make their own chilli oil, don't they? Yeah. Um, so, here's what I wanted to show you. We've got uh, mock chicken meat, um, mock pork, and a lot of them do actually say suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Um, and then they've got this fantastic range of, I mean, that's a big tin of young green jackfruit for a pound to make like vegan pulled pork Decent, isn't it? or whatever so they've got young green jackfruit banana blossom in brine banana blossom in water uh, more young green jackfruit vegan calamari 265 Loads and loads of uh, stuff. You could get lost in here for ages. You know, you could, you could you could just get lost having a look at all this stuff. So it's so worth a visit. And just in case you fancy a tin of jackfruit, you've got barbecue jackfruit, clearly marked vegan, 150. Shriacha jackfruit, 150. And uh, just young f f green jackfruit confit. Ooh, 135. Uh, watch out for this company, by the way, Nature's Charm. Um, pretty much everything they do is vegan. Uh, remarkable family company from Thailand, we believe. Uh, uh, we'll show you more stuff of theirs momentarily. And momentarily is now. <laughs> so you've got um, sweetened condensed coconut milk, coconut whipping cream, evaporated coconut milk. You see the price is there, 195. 245 and again they are uh, nature's charm fabulous a nice little vegan stand here uh, again containing a lot of the nature's charm uh, foods we've got a coconut caramel sauce coconut salted caramel sauce uh, coconut butterscotch chocolate fudge again with the vegan calamari and the uh, young jackfruit there's a, a, a sweet and condensed oat milk, 245, and of course the uh, sweet and condensed coconut milk again. Evaporated coconut milk, the, the whipping cream, banana blossom, 
and really big tins of uh, jackfruit should you fancy and if you are gluten free and vegan um, you can grab hold of this all purpose uh, gluten free soy sauce also clearly marked vegan just thought I'd show you it's like right next to the vegan stand there's also the gluten free stand and quite a lot of the stuff there is actually vegan some of it marked others by ingredient uh, but definitely worth having a look if you are uh, gluten free I mean that there that's a bargain and I, I know that that seems quite expensive but that's a litre yeah that's gonna last a while that yeah is. that's brilliant oh. and Clearly Clear that. that's vegan. vegan and also over 300 years of excellence well I mean you can't argue with that can you you really can't it'd be rude all right now the camera usually has a really bad time here at the freezers <laughs> starts flashing because of the lights but a lot of the stuff that we get for our regular Chinese takeaway is in here um, so they, they, I'll just show you a lot of the TKC stuff is marked vegetarian but is actually vegan by ingredient. So let's start grabbing the stuff we get. Crispy tiger prawns filled with vegetables wrapped in a light tofu skin and vermicelli. They're 460. Breaded chicken drumsticks, 500 grams. Quite expensive at 695, but they are worth it. That's part of our 565 for another kind of drumstick these ones I chop into cook them chop them into little pieces and put them in with the rice with spring onion when we have our fake away um, I'll whack, I'll whack uh, a link up there in the corner now where we did a shop and cook went home and cooked the meal we normally have so there you go uh, somewhere in here should be the satay sticks yep we get two boxes of them they're 4.35 and they do all these things like uh, crispy aromatic duck and uh, vegetarian style veg ball, uh, vegetarian style QQ veggie balls and you'll find that there's never any depth well or it's like I said check your ingredients because that ham for example is not vegan. I was just about to say it's a prime example you'd think because it's lumped in with everything else they've got your tempeh there vegan stuff there but clearly folded egg eggs there, so yeah. you know get yeah avoid that. But most of the other stuff uh, is um, is vegan and then they've got all these tins up here as well again like they had round there um, which do say suitable for vegetarians and vegans on them £2.20 there is an absolute plethora of stuff uh, above and of course the lovely Jason checking it out uh, tempeh guys £1.89 clearly marked vegan you get quite a big block you can do loads of bacon with that it's really really good stuff got a few blocks in the freezer at home as we speak what did you want to show us, Brommers? I just spotted that and I just think it's a really nice thing to see on the shelf there. Vegan choc and caramel fondant, scan the QR code for the recipe. Oh, yeah, that is kind of cool, and isn't again, it? And again, it's using Nature's Charm ingredients. Yeah. Oh, the great it's Nature's Charm. Sauce. Ah, nom nom. Right, let's go and get our dumplings. So again, different freezer. This is the kind of the dumpling freezer, I suppose. Uh, there's a whole load of dumplings, a lot of them of course are uh, meat or fish but these are the ones we started having um, when we first started buying from here and we've just not stopped because we checked them out then uh, realised that they were in fact vegan by ingredient and uh, we still have them they are 2 95 and we need two bags of them Jason and you're getting about 25 in a bag? yeah Two of them. Two bags of them. Into our plethora trolley. And uh, onward. Uh, these are some of the best uh, shelled ed edamame. Two pound a bag. Uh, they're just really good and green and firm and lovely. I bought soybeans from Tesco before and honestly they're not as good. Uh, so 
two packs of them. Two quid each, aren't they? Yeah. And we use them for other stuff, don't we? We'll whack them in a stir fry or a noodle dish sometimes or whatever. Oh, I get this trolley barrel. It's looking marvellous. Marvellous, I tell you. <laughs> right, let's go and get some paratha. And here's where we get our uh, paratha from as well. They are one ninety-five for the uh, plain ones and two packets of those which are again lovely and I'll just take you back up to the top of the store because I want to show you the white rice vinegar we get to make our dipping sauce um, but basically the point of this video we know we've had a lot of new subscribers since last year we've done a lot of wing it videos uh, but we just wanted to do an update to show you that there is an actual a literal plethora of stuff you can get and if you do like a Chinese takeaway now and again and you do fancy considering making your own and saving some uh, money why not do it there I just wanted to make sure I showed you this is the brand of white rice vinegar I get to make my dipping sauce with light and dark soy sauce already shown you white rice vinegar uh, fresh frozen frozen chilies and spring onions Jay's looking at mochi. I found some mochi in the chilled section before that was uh, vegan by ingredient, uh, you know, by ingredient. Yeah. I'm just curious, sometimes we just kind of walk past stuff and then I, my eye Well, we don't them. normally have them, do we? That's the thing. These are mini glutinous rice, rice balls, but it was the colours that caught Yeah, yeah. Right, but we're, uh, we're done. That's our, that's our kind of usual haul. Uh, for down here so we'll let you know um, how much all of this costs these things then all of the noodles and the tofu are extra to the um, the stuff we use for our fake away uh, but yeah we'll show you the full price it'd be rude not to and there you go 54.33 Marvellous. So, as you saw, all of that was £54.33. Um, so possibly about 40 for the core stuff that we used to make our uh, Chinese fake away because, like, the puff tofu isn't part of that. No. The, uh, the um, boxed tofu is, wasn't part of that. None of the noodles are. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. It's not bad. When 40 it... quid or under for the core stuff yeah. that we use, other than the rice, which we buy separately, because mm -hmm. we always have brown rice. Brown rice, by the way, far less impactful on the environment, uh, just for, right, and better for you, so. Yeah. Uh, so we hope you found that helpful. Um, this is, as I said, our first trip here in 2022. We'll probably be here three or four more times throughout the year. Yeah, to, yeah. To get bits and, and pieces. But 600 grams of tofu for £1.40. I mean, you can't grumble, can you? We've said... A baby know. bath of tofu. <laughs> The expensive stuff is the um, is the is the fake stuff, the frozen, isn't it? That's yeah. The, but like you said, we're, we're here. You know that stuff lasts us. Uh, and well, we only we have that meal literally, seriously, once a fortnight, max really. Mm -hmm. uh, once every three weeks minimum. Yes. Because we just really enjoy it, and it's you know it's a it's a load of processed crap, and it tastes. Gorgeous. But it has to be moderated, of course. Of course it doesn't. That's why we only have it like once a fortnight or so. Um, so, right. Uh, we shall get home, get our shopping put away. Colin at Tesco on way home, aren't we, for a couple of bits? A couple of bits. Yeah, nothing major. And uh, you shall be seeing this on the very day it was filmed, which is Friday the something of February. The 5th of March. No, it's the 4th. Sorry. Friday the 4th of March, that's what it is today. There you go. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it inspires you to go to your own local uh, supermarket or indeed have a visit to a Wingip if you're lucky enough to live close enough to one. Go and check it out. Have an adventure. Take your time. Have a look at some labels and, uh, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Yes, and please do give us a thumbs up. Uh, we would greatly appreciate that. Anyway, I love you, mister. Love you. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other.
Palops.